Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. B channel. <clears throat> in the previous video, I showed you a team viewer. In this video, we'll show you the Microsoft Remote Desktop Client and how it runs on a Dex station and how to set it up if you want to connect to your home computer from anywhere in the world. Stay tuned. So we covered the team viewer in a previous video. In this video, let's talk about Microsoft Remote Desktop Client. Um, to set it up, it's a, it's a bit trickier. It's a bit more complex than to set it up the TeamViewer. TeamViewer is just installed on both devices, connected, authorize the connections, connect, and you can remotely connect from anywhere in the world. With the Remote Desktop, it's a bit more complex. And why? The Remote Desktop, you can connect directly to the computer. This is my home computer IP address if you are on the same network, but what if you are outside your home network? Uh, so you need to do a port forwarding and etc. But I, the way I done it, I set up a VPN server on my home computer win, with Windows 10 Pro. VPN is a virtual private network. When I connect to my VPN server, which is at home, my device, in this case is the station, thinks that I am actually connected at home and that's how I can connect to my home computer using a Microsoft Remote Desktop Client. So, as in the previous video, I was using Remote Desktop, Microsoft Remote Desktop Client to set it up a team viewer and show you how it works. In this video, we're gonna do vice versa. I have a team viewer running and this is a, my Windows 10 Pro um, computer screen and I'll show you how to set up Microsoft client. Why I'm using TeamViewer remote right now because I just can't be bothered walking back and forward up the stairs to my computer up there in the spare room so I just remotely connected. Basically you just need to go to your home computer and just you do all this setup there. So let's say for example I am right now at my Windows 10 computer. So how to set it up? First thing, you need to make sure that you have a right version of Windows 10. How to know? Um, remote Desktop will work on Windows 10 Pro. Sorry, it won't work on Windows 10 Home. To find out if you have access, you just write in the search bar, allow remote access to your computer. If you have these options, that means all fine, you can access your computer with Microsoft Remote Desktop Client. So that's all I did is allow remote um, connection to this computer, allow connections only, that's it, allow from uh, computers running on the local network. That's how I done, and I can select users, but I can't be bothered. So as only me who's gonna use this, if it's more complex in the office environment, you need to select the users, but I'm just gonna leave as it is. So allow and just click tick. So that's fine, it's all working. And next thing is you need to know your IP address. So if we click on the networking app icon on the taskbar next to your clock, right click, open network, network and shares, and then click on the ethernet details and that's my IP address. Another way to find out your IP address is if you go and you run so for search for run, open, you write for CMD, CMD, click OK. You have a command line, IP config, enter. And let's look, IP version 4 is 192.168.1.100. That's the IP address of my Windows 10 computer at home. So when I have all this done, click close and go to your desk station. So I just came back to my desk station. You go to Google Play Store and search for RD client. So Microsoft Remote Desktop Client, that's that's it. You download it, you don't need to create an account, you just download and open. As soon as you open this for the first time, you're gonna see nothing here in a white background. You click plus. Actually, let's, let's remove this and show you how all this is done. So it's lonely here. Yeah, okay, let's make some friends. Desktop, IP address. So 192.168.1.100. And 
add a user account. What you need to write here is actually your Windows 10 username, which is obviously my email, and your Windows 10 password, if I remember correctly. It should be this. No, okay. Okay, uh, oh, it's already saved, right, that's why. That's the one, because I already created. But you just punch in your username and a password in there, and click Save. So you have an icon showing your computer. You can obviously edit and do all the things, additional options, um, redirect local storage. So it's, it's more if you're using this more complex way. I just don't want to remotely connect and nothing else to do. So customize display resolution. Uh, okay, let's say, let's leave it default. Well, whatever, I'm just gonna leave as it is. All these I don't really use much. I'm just using, okay, just clicked on the link to give me some text. Right, that's it, save. So that's it, that's that. I just double click and I remotely automatically, because I use my Microsoft 10 computer logging ID and the password automatically logs in and I'm in the Windows 10 computer. So this is all fine because it's working in a network, which is a home network. How to connect if you, let's say, in office and you want to connect to your home computer, but you just can't be messing about with uh, opening ports for remote desktoping and etc. I'm, I'm more, I like more a VPN because it's, it's a, a, I think it's more, more, more secure. How to set up VPN, right. To set up VPN, what you need to do first is go on the network icon next to a clock and open networking and shares on a page. Click on the change adapter settings. And in this page, you click Alt. As soon as you click Alt key on the keyboard, you see these options here. I click File and New Incoming Connection. Now you need to, basically that's what you're gonna see, administrator, default account, guest, and username of this computer. But I would like to create another username, which I'm just gonna do, add some, and put any name you like. Here, your full name, full name and super password. So you punch all this, click OK, and you save it like it's here, account properties. I have my username, my full name, and my password set up. When it's all done, close it, close it, and close it again. Next thing, what I need to do, I need to go to my router. When I done all this, I go to my router, connected, and this is a talk talk router, obviously setting up a port forwarding for um, VPN or for Windows 10 is totally different setup procedure in every router. So you just Google your router, uh, find uh, how to port forwarding, because for me to cover every single router in the way you need to port forwarding is gonna take forever. So do a bit of research on, on your device, on your router specifically. Because let's say if you, uh, I don't know, you have a link router port forwarding. I think that's the way you need to write. How to configure profile for D-Link. It's, it's loads and loads of help online. You just Google it and you're gonna do a port forwarding. The way I done is just internet, port forwarding, and this is Mr. PVPN. That's, uh, that's my port forwarding. I set up the ports going back and forward and I think the ports for Windows 10 Windows 10 VPN ports I think is 17 is it 17 something let's let's have a double check loading 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 I think it's 1723 what is it what is it what is it what is it 1723 1723 1723 that's the one you need to do so you set up when 723 as a port forwarding. And next thing, you need to go to firewall, firewall configurations and inbound rules. I'm looking for remote, remote desktop, something where it's 1723. Let's find this. 
IP. 1723. Bingo, that. Make sure this is green. Tick is next to remoting a remote access. PPTP in. Make sure this is tick because this automatically firewall for Windows 10 will allow your connection. If this is green, all good to go. It's actually as soon as you set up the VPN and the incoming incoming connection, which I showed you, I will show you again. As soon as you set up, uh, what is it? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. File, as soon as you set up this one, this automatically should be green. I had to do nothing at all with firewall. It's just a bit of, of a tip uh, from what I read online. Just make sure this is green. So when you've done all this and you set up the port forwarding and everything is fine, what you need to do now is find out your outside IP address. To find out outside IP address, just Google it. What is, what is my IP? And this is my outside IP address. So you find your outside IP address. Obviously, I will cover this. Um, so you got your outside IP address, all fine and good. So minimize all this. And let's say, go back to a deck station. When you're in a deck station, click on the triangle and do settings. In settings, go to connections, all the way down, more connection settings and VPN. Add VPN because you're going to have all this empty. So add VPN. Enter the name of uh, this VPN so you can give any name you like. So for example, I uh, will add this is VPN. Make sure that PPTP is selected. Server address. Enter your IP address. Which one you googled and you know your outside IP address. Username. So that's the username where you set it up in your. Come on, come on, come on. Where you set it up? Just Team Viewer decided not to play around. Decide to crash. Let's close it down. And let's try and connect again. Come on. Brilliant. Team Viewer decided to crash. Okay, no problems. Let's go for here. So. Right click the VPN, the username that you set up is, I'll show you now, adapters. You click Alt, Windows, Incoming Connections. That's the username you created. So username account will be Pascalis. That's mine and the password. So if we go back to here, that's where I write my username, Pascalis, and the password is here. So you've done all that. Next thing is, let's say you are in office. In an office, you don't have a Wi-Fi. So I disconnect the Wi-Fi, I have only 4G. So if I click on here, it gives me uh, all these credentials that I already saved it before. Click OK, and it's connecting to my VPN at home. Bingo, VPN is connected, and it tells me I am connected to my home network. Now, if I go back to uh, the remote desktoping app on a desk station. I open up and my phone thinks that I am at home. So now for double click, I'm actually gonna to connect to my remote com computer. It's a bit more complex than the team Uber, but it does it does the job done, it's, it's brilliant. So that's how I came, or that's how I went around to actually eliminate this port forwarding for remote desktoping and just leave VPN because the VPN is more secure. So that's how I'm connected to um, my home computer using this. But if you want to um, know more about how to set up the VPN, I use this website, How to Geek, and that's how uh, I went and read all this article, and that's how I set up the VPN, how that's how I learned. So if you want to know more, you just go here and set up all this, or you just search for Windows 10 VPN port, and that's the link I used. So I will leave these both links in the description below this video. So you read through this, it explains to you how to go all this, how to set up the, the connections, as you can see here, how to give a full access through a 
window a full um, windows firewall and etc just go through all this it's easy peasy i set up in about 10 minutes 10 minutes or so and that's how i doing um, i'm connecting all this so let's say i just connect and it's still connected to vpn which is no problem i click on here manage so mr p home i connected for about two minutes i click disconnect and let's go back to wi-fi i know it's a bit more garble it's it's, it's it's a bit harder to set up but um what i found is um remote desktoping is not very more fe feature full than a team viewer for example in here where like i got these buttons tabs etc alt uh control so for me to actually go and open a task manager so it's control alt delete that's how I need to go through here. Or Windows. Windows, I don't know, Windows opens Windows. Uh, 1, 2, 3, that opens the keyboard, so it's all these connections. But it's, it's, it's more, well, it's more steps to do to actually do something on here. I found with the Team Viewer is more easier. Team Viewer is more future rich, if that's the word to use. Because if I'm using Team Viewer and hopefully it won't crash now. So connected to my team viewer okay let's see connecting probably something happened to team viewer in my on my computer let's find out okay bingo i'm in yes it took a bit a while but i connected so let's disconnect the rd that's what happens when you're using too much too many programs doing the same thing no no i'm in Okay, numpad is working. Yeah, I found on this is a bit more 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 setup. You can go in the more details, more setups you can do on here. Like say, you see, instead of pressing uh, Control Alt Delete and then press over, I just click here and just do this, and let's go straight to a task manager, and I can mess about with here. More, it's a more powerful, and you don't need to set up the port forwarding if you're using a Team Viewer. I will leave a link for Team Viewer show or well, Team Viewer the demo on Deck Station in the description below, and I will leave both links of the websites that I use to set up a Windows remote desktoping app and port forwarding. Uh, I hope this video helps. If I missed anything, please let me know, and please click like if you like this video. And I'll see you in the near future where I'm going to show you more awesome apps running on a deck station or Chromebook or NVIDIA Shield TV. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.